We're back. Make sure audio is okay. Woo! Man, had to run over here. Let's see how many people come in. Two people, two people, how sound? I wanna make sure it sounds okay. <clears throat> Hope I didn't. Ohio catfishing, what's going on buddy? Thank you so much for coming in so quickly. How's the sound, sound okay? Mr. Catman, Mr. Kentucky, thank you so much for coming in. Sounds windy, huh. Staticky, all right. Um. Better, 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 better. All right, guys, I already put out the catfish rods. I gotta put out the better. Is it bad? I mean, uh, nope, static again. All right. Disconnect, disconnect mic. No mic. Uh, nope, welcome back, about the same. What is going on? Perfect. Someone said perfect. <laughs> Woo! All right. All right. Fabulous. All right. I prefer to have the mic on, but all right. Uh, don't touch it. <laughs> Leave it alone, Nelson. Ah, sounds good now. We're back. Oh, man. The move. Golly. I can't believe it. The title best. Nelson, I will not fish with you, my buddy. Fish <laughs> You're going to bring a Snoopy fishing pose? Oh, man. I love it. That show was absolutely phenomenal. I love that show yesterday. Just rained out, bad storm rolled through. Ooh, wow. All right, guys, give me just two minutes. Let me throw out the carp rods real quick. I have, let me see here, I have eel head on eel head rod. That's the last, number four. Number three has uh, strawberry chicken. Dexter, what's going on, buddy? Thank you so much for coming in. Join the membership Kentucky Catman Adventures. Hit the join. Yeah, so if you want to become a membership, um, I think it starts up at $4, then it goes up to $10, $20. It's just to support um the channel um you go up to the next to the subscribe button i think it's a join button you have three options if you want to try it for a month just turn green it's up to whoever wants to do that all right guys carb rods let's put two carb rods out real quick Carp. Let's put another one in for carp. Ooh. 
big, big message. Man. I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh. Alright, we're set, we're set. has been a wife team for St. Louis. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Welcome back. Welcome back. Oh, what's up, Filler? What's going on, buddy? Still waiting for those reels. It's unbelievable. Abu Garcia is on a huge, huge delay. Oh, but I can't wait for them to come in. Oh. Fishing with squirrel. What's going on? You order some uh, blue cat rods from Chris, that's awesome. Or Chris Flores rods, you definitely won't be disappointed. Some great. How's it going? Well, we just got here. We moved from the Tidal Basin to here. Oh man, the Tidal Basin was stacked with tens of thousands. Oh, okay, Joey, let's go. Big fish, big, yeah, let's go, let's go. Yeah. You know, we're trying the catfishy carp thing, but I prefer to fish all for catfish, but we'll see. We'll see. If we, if we get on the carp, they're a lot of fun. You just, you're just using two different setups. But let's try it. <clears throat> yeah, if you didn't, if you're just tuning in, if you missed, um, Yeah, thank you so much, uh, Mo, for saying that. Uh, uh, Ricky, Ricky is unbelievable. Uh, Ricky Creations tore up with that sign. Oh, beautiful sign. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, Dexter, it's good to see you, buddy. Man, Fishmaster. Well, um, Master no more because trust me, we didn't. 
me and, and just like a lot of other people are struggling, 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 struggling. Good luck. Your second spot, Chucky. <laughs> Going to bed. Yeah, I know you get up so early, early, early. Maybe I'll catch a little bit of your stream uh, flow. Sometimes I stop in and I comment, but I know you're busy. You like you like to do the fish thing. Um, but good luck tomorrow. Tear up those bass. Are you gonna go with um, where you use the live shiners? Cause you done. You, you always put one rod out sometimes with shiner, and then you're you're casting with another one. But that's awesome. I hope you hope you catch some monsters in there. Maurice, my brother. Thanks for coming in. Bring me some luck, man. We are struggling. I'm really glad I got out of the base, and I, I wasn't comfortable. The, the I don't know. I just I know I'm trying to give you that really beautiful view of the monument. Um, Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, you sometimes go back and watch it. Good, 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 good. Nice. Wow, my, my knee is throbbing right now where I got the, where I got the surgery, but just from from hustling over here. I quit fishing, which, oh, they're not really much. Yeah, and I think someone said, either you or the, the Shiner guy said that they were expensive or something like that, but okay, you, you do just fine with the... Guys, if y'all if like seeing live bass fishing, it flows the man. It's... um. He's pretty entertaining. Sometimes he puts out some little clips, some funny stuff. What was that? It was that turkey on top of that truck. I know he had, you had to go to sleep, so you're probably gone, but. Um, Chunky, serious question about me. Was your menace? Yes, it was torn. Yes, it was. It was torn. Um, they repaired it. They showed me all kinds of images because they got some really nice cameras. Um, he said it wasn't that, that bad, but um, I, I just finished taking my uh, last physical therapy uh, a couple of days ago and they discharged me and I'm kind of glad because you know it is what it is but it does give me a slight little throb I mean from a pain where I had it before the meniscus is gone but you know it's just um, where they go in there with their tools uh, did they stitch or remove um, that's a good question I don't know I think they they repaired it or cleaned it up. I think they cleaned up the tear. I think that's what they, they call it. I don't know, to be honest. It's a good question, Mo. I don't know. <laughs> all I say is just take the pain away. That's all I want. I tore meniscus a year ago. Super painful. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. So I tore my meniscus on my right knee around 15 years ago. Got that surgery. Took that pain away. And then I just tore my left inner. I did something like that. But, um, but they're gonna do MRIs again on my right knee. I was a catcher and I did a lot of catching, a lot of baseball, a lot of squatting, a lot of, way too much, way, way, way too much catching. Oh, I'm grinding my teeth now here, you guys talk about, <laughs> you grind, eh, don't grind your teeth, take care of those teeth, trust me. I used to do the same thing. Oh, thank you, fishing with Big Mike. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate that. I see new uh, fishing with Big Mike. Oh, you're a big supporter of um, Combat Carl. Thank you so much for coming over here and saying hi. Appreciate that. Yeah, I saw. Uh, right? Is that where you're from? Big Mike is from. I think it's from Carl. Um, Paul Metal, my man. Thank you so much for coming in. This is our second spot. I'm not, I don't know if you were in our first spot in the tidal basin. Beautiful background views, but there was just tens of thousands of bait fish. What were they, guys? I think they were some kind of shad, I think. I don't think those were white perch. I think some kind of shad. Uh, hello from Baltimore. Well, welcome from Baltimore. I've been to Baltimore. Baltimore's pretty nice. Of course, I've only been to that where they have the stadium and that aquarium. Uh, no, um, at a football game, just stop it. Oh, good, good, good. Oh, so your high school's playing football? <laughs> yep, uh, principals and assistant principals should be at the game. Good, support the team. Go your team, whatever. <laughs> See. Um, no plays on my feet to join. Mm. My feet to join. Um, yeah. In the inner harbor. Yes, inner harbor. Yes, yes. Beautiful, beautiful area. Uh, St. Jello did. Uh, they fix it or remove it. Oh, skin change. <laughs> That's a good question. I'm going to ask my doctor next because right now it's kind of throbbing me right now. Um, oh, well, whatever. Let's not talk about pain. Let's talk about hopefully a takedown so that live eel i'm sorry I, I didn't throw it back out there live i cut him and i kind of filleted a little bit so eel heads on that one and a strawberry chicken and once again thank you so much for that super chat uh greatly appreciate that thank you thank you thank you uh i'm out fishing right now on 15 striper oh nice 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 good 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 for you 
Good, good, good. Stripers are, are running right now through through the Potomac. Um, I'm seeing more stripers posted on fish brain um, than catfish. I don't think people are posting anymore unless they're just not catching. Watching from Grand Rapids. Ooh, nice. Michigan. One of my best teachers graduated from Michigan. Michigan Wolverines. I'm not sure if that's the same thing or not, but um, high school teacher. His name was Mr. Ryan. Never forget that. Uh, I didn't. You didn't post anything, okay? Or what? I don't. I don't post anymore. Sorry. Okay. Got it. Do you have any strawberry eel on the hook? I do not. I do not. Um, I was thinking about marinated, but I just. I have. Um, we talked about lemon. Lemon. Yeah, lemon jello mix fishing with mike chavez guys mike chavez is awesome he's got golly he's, he's he's amazing i know you do a lot of work and work really hard but thank you for stopping by and say hello it means a lot it means a lot Woo, let's go let's go let's go fishy 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 yeah i wasn't happy with this rod the way the paint job so i did i went ahead and added a uh, high reflective tape high reflective tape is that yellow right there the yellow and then inside that yellow that's paint that's not this is tape that's paint but inside that tape there's silver um depends yeah mike i i i don't see as much as your cooking videos but i try to stop by every now and then i do apologize <laughs> i'm just keeping it real that's one thing about me i don't like to lie but um if i see an absolutely crazy awesome recipe i'll definitely check it out uh, da, 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 da. Okay. <laughs> Good, my friend. Love you. Love you, Mr. Chavez. Uh, food channel. <laughs> oh, yeah. We start talking about food. Let's talk about takedowns for first. Come on. Help me out, fish. All right, guys. Uh, let's send some good vibes. Get that right. Please hit me up from. Oh, boy. Don't. Where are you from? Uh, Dexter, where are you from, Dexter? I forgot. I'm sorry. You're not from the Philippines. I know that. Um, oh, man. Bad on me. Shame on me. Uh, Texas in the house. Yes. We're part of Texas. Hey. Chunky. So I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you very much for saying that. I think they're my rods and I think they're pretty awesome too. That's that's so messed up to say that, but <laughs> it's true. It's true. I have I have kind of I made like a small little mini YouTube studio and I have all my rods and I leave two or three black lights all night long. And sometimes before I go I go to I go to bed, because we have an outside workshop and I'll walk by through the window, look at my rods before I go to sleep, just to put a smile on my face. Ah, did you, did you move? Yes, I did, Mr. Realistic. I moved. I'm out of that place that's got 300 billion shad swimming around that. I'm sure there's some big fish chasing that, but. Ah, uh, chunky. Dana, good luck. Oh, enjoy this. Thank you very much, feller. Guys, feller, if you don't know feller, guys, he's he's the one who who has bought me a couple of Abu Garcia reels. I was having trouble with the pin, pin 209. It backlashed on me, it was bringing me down. He did $300 super chat on one stream two or three weeks ago. So just letting you know who Feller is. Thank you, Feller. And then plus he's a member and he he, he has signed up for the elite membership. You know, he's trying out for a month, you know, but I appreciate it. every single one of y'all. You know, everyone that stops by and say hi and hello, gives me a thumbs up. I love you the same, but those who can afford a little extra cash this way you know what you know i'm always painting rods buying paints more lights whatever doing something <clears throat> but thanks i appreciate y'all being here uh, kentucky kid man outdoors yeah mr kentucky's awesome uh elston when you're coming down to red tails yes man Woo, some red tails. Can you imagine catching red tails? Chunky ear rods are the best. They're awesome. <laughs> yes. Oh, DMV, what's going on? Hey, your wagon is looking pretty awesome. 
I didn't know you ran a big battery. Is that new to your setup or you've always had that big old, it looks like a deep cycle battery. Um, good for you. Good for you. You got those, um, that, it looks like a, I don't know what you call it. Just a wagon with big old heavy duty tires. Uh, it is awesome. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I spent a lot of time on this stuff. Uh, what's up DMV? Yeah, DMV is awesome. I think he's going to try to go to live Tuesday. He mentioned maybe he'll change it up. Difference in tear of, uh, let me see here. Difference in tiers of membership. Yeah. Here's the thing, guys. If you're going to become a member, it's plain and simply to help out the channel. I know it says that I'm supposed to blah, 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 do something. I'm not offering anything right now. If I can, I might. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, we're working on it. We're working on it. Let's go. Let's go, fish. Come on. What time is low tide, DMV? I, I, I checked on it, but right now that water is really down. We must have hit low tide. I think it's right now low tide. How are you? Yeah, Mo's awesome. I think you said I have two cup down DC to fish one day. Uh, high tides. But are we at peak low tide? That's what I call it, when the water's not moving at all. Um, I'm doing good. Good. Yeah, Hobo's like, yep, yeah, you've hit low tide. Believe it or not, I. Cool rods, thank you. <laughs> uh, the, 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 my, my personal best, which is 52 pound blue catfish, caught it around at low tide, believe it or not. Uh, dead low tide. Oh, that word dead. You just tore it up, Mike. That's good. That's all right, no problem. Uh, 909 low tide, so. No problem. Someone was talking about who was it that the gar stopped, you know, being so bothersome in wintertime. So that's why we're not having any gar bites. So maybe they've they've chilled out. I heard gar really bother you in the summertime. I never really pay attention to it, but it kind of makes sense. I can't remember who said that. I just enjoy sometimes hearing people talk and you learn, you learn. You're not gonna learn anything from me. As a matter of fact, your IQ, your IQ end up going down. So <laughs> I'm just warning you, <laughs> you're here just for the takedowns, that's it. Cause you ain't gonna learn much from here. I can't help it mode. Well said, Kentucky. She's a wonderful person all the way around. Yes, she is. Uh, you fix it. Get in. Wait, wait. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it took me. A That's how dyslexic I am, Ricky. I couldn't, I couldn't even put those words together. Thank you. I'm fixing to get a bite. Bring it. Let's go. Yes, yes. I, I just like hearing Mo. She's just got that voice that's soothing that you can just listen in. It's enjoyable. I'll tell you who else I like. I like to hear Mo when I'm just driving and just listening. Um, um, kayak catfishing. Kayak catfishing is. It's. I can. I can hear his whole 23 minute video. Got to get some info in there. Uh, get him, hobo. Hobo fishing. Hobo won't tell me where they're at. Hobo knows where they're at. Ah, uh, Shane. Uh, expecting the cat by tomorrow morning. Oh boy, the tomorrow morning. I won't be here. Get him. Give me a report. <clears throat> Mr. Stan. I I'm really glad you did well in the tournament. Was it two or three catfish you caught? I'm just glad. You, you represented the bank very well. I was very happy. <clears throat> Guys, I appreciate we're already up to $10 super chat and then we got, I'll post the bot fish. Okay. Uh, checking, so how much is a DC fishing license? It's very affordable. 
it's only $14, but it ends at the end of the year. So if you buy it now, it's only good for, what is it, two months, I guess, two and a half months? Whatever month we're in. Um, but I, I think it's one of the most affordable license there is. It's, it's just, usually fishing is fairly well. I think a lot of people are struggling. I'm not sure if I answered someone, I skipped over someone else's question, I'm sorry. Uh, getting ready for deer. You go deer hunting, is that what you're saying? I couldn't do it. I, I, could, <laughs> I couldn't do it. Me, personally? No. <clears throat> awesome. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Oh, that moon looks so beautiful. That moon is right over there. Check it. Yeah, um, yeah, I sure do. <laughs> <clears throat> Woo! One is for y'all. I mean, come on. <laughs> I think y'all deserve one. So, three for me and one for you. Ever fish in Chicago? I've never been to Chicago. And you know what? That's so funny you bring up Chicago. I remember when Cookie was little, Cookie would always talk about uh, he wanted to go to Chicago. Cookie was small. He was, I want to go to Chicago. I don't know where he even came up with the word Chicago. Uh, it's going to be pole number two. Ooh, pole number two is carp. Now one or two are going for carp. Carp are awesome. I'm surprised that that 20 pound carp we caught, yes, it fought nice, it fought strong, but I expected more fight from a carp. Someone has also said that smaller carp fight, fight stronger too. So there you go. Pole one, let's go one. I'll go for anyone. Just show me some action. Get me going, get me dancing. Uh, da, 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 da. now season September first. We've got November thirteenth. You're already calling it. Nice. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm missing some stuff here. Um, I was here in Virginia, starting being up Nice. I've only... Uh, Y'all are hunt, hunt, hunter people, hunting people. I don't, I don't want to go even try because if I like it, I, I don't want to invest money in something else. I spend a lot of time and a lot of money on what I do here. Uh, I just want to run. To do a big, yes, a big bend. Yes, bring it down. Woo. Just uh, sub-zero temps here in Wyoming. Wow, really, it must be cold over there. That's crazy. Uh, just join the chat. Did I miss anything? Not yet. Not yet. Uh, I've been. What do you bow hunt, Kentucky? This is one thing. This I'm just speaking out loud because I've always. It tears me up seeing bow hunters destroy all these carp. Uh, that, that I don't know what they I think they just kill them and destroy them. I don't think they even eat them <clears throat> uh, But that's just me Oh, It's cool to hear Yes, yes. what's up <clears throat> Deer turkey pigs Asian carp there you go. I think that would be fun bow hunting it seems fun but uh do you fish in virginia um yeah uh i was fishing virginia about three months ago uh what is it marina one i think that's what it's called street marina one right next to dca we caught a what was it a few catfish that would be a very good carp area uh, just came back nothing yet the rods have not even gone wobble wobble yet. We're waiting. We are waiting. Oh, uh, bow fishermen in Maryland made me this time. Shoot. 
Yeah, can you imagine that um, DMV? That 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 is pretty disgusting. I mean, if you're gonna go and just kill them, go go dispose of them properly. You know what I'm saying? Don't just leave them laying around the bank. <clears throat> fixing the bend over let's go feel it baby let's go let's go let's go that one has strawberry chicken uh strawberry chicken i have lemon chicken we have not tried lemon chicken yet we got we might have to put do you ever try menudos oh wait if so do you call it menudo? or i i don't i cannot pronounce pronounce the other two but menudo is menudo that's i love menudo um, I have not had it in a long, long, long time. Love me new. <clears throat> you can't find food like that up here. Me too. <laughs> Ooh, you can't find me new up here. Not very easy. Oh, 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 ew, 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 hit, ew, ew, ew. Da, 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 da. What was that? That was nothing. Come on. Oh, small cat, yeah. It it has an eel eel head around this big. It's not very big, so it must have been a two or three pound catfish. It just didn't take it. I saw Po two. Do you saw Po two? No, we saw Po four. Alright. Cart, bring it. Uh for, it's going down again. Let's go. Come on. Pig feet. Oh no 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 pig feet. No 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 I don't like pig feet. <laughs> No pick me for me. Woo. <clears throat> I love a love a lot of that. I think is it harmony that they put in there? Oh man. Love it. Uh cow's feet, pigs. No, I think it's pig's feet is yummy. Eh. The only reason I don't like pig's feet is too mushy. I mean so is manure, but uh, I have my money on cats. Maybe. Uh, I know. I know you. <laughs> I know you, Neither do I. <laughs> I love big feet. Ah. Uh, what kind of cart feet are you using? Um, I have a hair rig, and I put plastic corn. But on the small hook, I actually put um, sweet corn. Put sweet corn, and I also um, added. I think what what is it? I can't remember what the that thing is called. Pure pure cure you add that red powder into that corn it makes it harder so i have red corn on the hook too but it's sweet corn uh and then i have pack bait pack bait on the the method lead um it has breadcrumb panko uh oatmeal sweet corn and jello mix on the pack bait i'm packing it up pretty well i'm sorry y'all are talking about foods and um yes pickled Ooh, I don't know about that one. Yeah, first is kind of. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Oh, oh, it's going. 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 Chicka 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 Come on, come on, come on. Woo! They called it, they called it. Eelhead baby! I don't think he's monster, but let's get the skunk off the bank. He's little guy, little, little guy. Oh, but man, these, that's what I'm telling you, these rods are phenomenal. Y'all can see the takedowns. I don't know, he might be six, seven pounds, we'll see. time for some reason it's the, he's just not coming in that's what i'm saying smaller smaller fish bite better i have not seen them yet i have not seen them yet he's little guy little guy but you know what let's land him he's probably five or six pounds five or six pounds but he's way down there 
We have low tide. Here we go. Fish number one, I'm so glad we moved. I'm so glad we moved. Let's weigh him up. I have the scale right here. He's not bad. Of course, with the net, you have to minus at least a few pounds. 9.2, 9.24. Woo, not, not bad, not bad. So I'm telling you, these fish pull these rod down really nice. Let's get them a hook and we'll let's, let's show them off. I'm happy with it, I'm happy. Happy, happy, happy. Nice, nice. Here we go. Woo, got him, baby, got him. Ah, small one, small one. I mean, he's considered a dink maybe sometimes, but for right now, he's a monster to me right now. How much is the net? We'll, we'll, weigh, the, we'll weigh the net. The weight's pretty heavy, believe it or not. It's at, least, it's at least three pounds. Let's weigh the net. All right, back in the water. Yay! Man, I'm going to trip over all these cables I have. Black lights everywhere. Let me throw that back out there real quick. Um, it's got the EO head. Yeah, we got leaves all over, but there's the EO head. I uh, I flapped it open right there, kind of cut it up, open a little bit. He's not very big. He's not bigger than my pinky, probably longer, but about the same thickness. Let's get it out there. And then we're gonna weigh the net. It's a heavy net. Almost five pounds, four and a half pounds. <clears throat> yeah, this the, it's it's this part that's heavy. Let me just wait one more time to make sure. Make sure keep everyone happy. Hold on, hold on, we're gonna do this right. Ugh. I don't think it wastes my pounds, but we're gonna find out. Hold on. There you go. Yeah, I knew, I knew it, didn't, it didn't weigh almost five pounds, not that heavy. 3.7. Oh. 
Oh, thank you. Thank you. Dollar per pound. <laughs> Woo. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. You're so awesome and crazy, man. That's... Thank you. Appreciate that. Oh, man. I'm glad we caught something. I'm so glad. Let me make sure I have my brightness all the way up. Yes. Uh, you should do small meatball size carb. No, no fish grips. Uh, I have two pairs, but now I would rather put a glove on bef before I put on a fish grip. I mean, use fish grips. I mean, this is just my opinion. I've always thought that pictures look funny with the fish grip for some reason. That's just me. I think a glove would be better, but. Uh, I know, Mike. What is Mike saying? Way to support. Yes, thank you so much, St. Louis Clams. Appreciate that. That's awesome. Uh, just, just. Yes, I did. I did bring that awesome sign tonight. As a matter of fact, I was thinking of not bringing it just because I was trying to rush over here to set up because I had to move. Um, I'll show it off real quick. Uh, just in case anyone who's new to the channel, I'll show off my wagon, show off the lights. I'll turn on this light here so you can see the high riff tape. Check it out. Boom. So there's where I sit. My back is to the rods. Where I'm seeing what you're seeing. There's that new awesome sign that Ricky... Uh, what is his YouTube channel? It's uh, Creations. Ricky Jr. Creations. Something like that. He sent me this sign. He made it. He put the frame on it. Sent it to me. It's awesome. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. He even painted it with fluorescent paint. That's why I put a black light over here. So it can give that um, the frame, that fluorescent color. Let me turn off this light. Um, right there. Beautiful sign. And there's the rods. Check out the, the high, high reflective tape. That's with no light. Boom. You can see that tape, how it just appears. Crazy. Last week. Oh, boy. Oh, what the fun said. I appreciate that. It's a... I love this setup. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of work, believe it or not, bringing it over here, loading it up, unloading it. Um, so today I am running five black, I'm, so, I'm sorry, six black lights. There's one that's just laying on the floor to kind of just illuminate the frame and kind of, it does, it does help illuminate that a little bit more, but I put that one there just for the frame. Um, then I run three of these bars, one, two, and those are screwed in just to this frame right here one two two there and i have another one down there that one is shooting upwards to kind of just i want to make sure i cover every single effect and area that i can so three of those bars that one back there that's a floodlight black light that's right beside the camera make sure we, we cover the camera view um i even have sound activated blinking lights two of those and then oh then here's the black oh i didn't plug this one in I gotta plug that in real quick. I was trying to rush over here real quick. There you go. Black light around my rod holder. Ooh, Creole's in the house. Creole's awesome. Fish. <laughs> oh, it's, a, it's for the show. You know what? People enjoy watching the takedowns. I want to make sure that we can all enjoy the takedowns. I mean, that, I don't. I think that's got to be one of the funnest things from bank bank fishing, even boat fishing. But the problem with boat fishing, most people have their rods more laying down, um, just because you don't want another boat to kind of take you out, all your lines out. Spend a lot of time trying to update and work on this wagon. I, I even added blue light. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, blue light. Those are not black lights. One of them went out. It's probably it, it disconnected. As awesome as the king of bling. Woo! You tore it up during the tournament. I'll be honest. I, I was blown away. I didn't know um, Louisiana was that stacked with catfish. I mean, that, I'm 
that population was just it's very healthy I'm, I, I'm guessing over there or maybe those catfish are just on fire that day no because you you also mentioned one of the videos that you're a fire budget <laughs> good luck oh man you're just just too awesome guys we're up to twenty dollars on this stream and we got twenty dollars on the other stream so that's forty dollars on live streams today very thank you very much boom boom booms thank you very much just trying to do her so so um not complaining <clears throat> yes that's awesome later thank you so much for stopping by and your support greatly greatly appreciate that yeah that that sign is absolutely crazy awesome i mean let me drop this light Amazing work. Oh, airplane bite. No, oh, thank you, Chucky. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm so glad we we got out of that basin. I, I, I'll be honest, I rarely ever, ever move spots. It's just way too much work, but I just, I didn't feel comfortable at the basin seeing all, all those bait fish over there. Literally tens of thousands. Come on, number three. What's up, brother? Watching you from New Mexico. New Mexico's in the house. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Molina, Tim Molina is awesome. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, you can post your channel link a few times. Just say, hey, if y'all wouldn't mind checking me out, you know, give me a give me a look or whatever. Just don't just put a link. Just say, hey, this is my link. If you like, check me out. Yes, you may. If uh, the bait, there bigger fish are there. Yes, they are. Um, but I don't know if you were here earlier. I mean, I'm talking about literally. It seemed like thousands and thousands and thousands of, of bait were just in there. Yes, absolutely, you're right. There's big shit in there, but. I mean, I, I can guarantee you they're just so, so full. And they might, you know, it, they're in there, but I don't know if they would uh, hit my bait. Uh, one so far. Yeah, one, around five pounds. I'm watching from Quebec, Canada. Very nice. Thank you. Appreciate that. Oh, you know what come to mind? On my last live stream, we hit... Um, over 15% women viewers. I thought that was crazy awesome. Not that I look at those stats or whatever you call it. Um, it, it I know I, I quickly checked a couple of other uh, videos and they were nowhere near that. They were less than like 8%, 15%. That was that was awesome. Watching from Mississippi. <clears throat> Mississippi's in the house. I think Mississippi's got good catfishing, I think. Man, the ladies ain't watching my... <laughs> 2% DMV. Woo! You need to step it up, buddy. <laughs> Ooh, man. Plus, you're you're like an all-nighter. You're... I can't even, you know, stay up that late. Sometimes Mason, Mason, when he Mason goes to sleep, he wants me and my wife to go to sleep, and we have to turn everything off. All devices. And I have to, sometimes I have you on site and I have the, I have the, the, the brightness all the way down. And man, I just fall asleep. I, I don't know how you can stay up that late, but that's awesome. Good for you. Uh, DME, you need some disco lights. Yes, you need some disco lights. Woo. Uh, I appreciate that. That is absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for doing that. Boom. You're blue now. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Boom. Those are, we call them booms. Thank you very much for doing that. That's, that's just amazing for you to do that. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone who's new to the show, let me just put this out there one more time. I don't want to talk about it too, too much. I, I am dyslexic. Okay. So I try to read what I can. Most of my read is by, by recognition. If I don't recognize, recognize a word, 
I just try to go to the next one and see if I can make up for what I missed. But thank you so much. Appreciate that. Oh, uh, 150 is 2% DM. So Dobson. <laughs> Maria Dobson. There goes your 1%. Woo. <clears throat> Maria Dobson is awesome. <laughs> yes. Uh, hey, you were live. I was watching you going live when I was driving over here. And then um, you're on that side of, the, of this bridge you're not very far from me did you do any good over there uh, <clears throat> oh oh no that's the wind i saw i saw the lines kind of wobble there you go guys there's a link right there this is the link to my channel give a shot check them out see if you like them uh yeah i'm about to come over Snipe your stream. Oh boy. <laughs> Make sure you have your mask, okay? Because I don't have mine on. <clears throat> Where is everyone in chat from? Shout out. Yes. <clears throat> Drop down his phone. Wait. <clears throat> Ohio. I hear a lot of things of Ohio. I got a mask. <laughs> exchange oh boy Woo. <clears throat> oh new membership boom oh man you're absolutely crazy awesome thank you so much welcome to chunk thank you so much for doing that wow blows me away not only you're green you're blue now thank you thank you thank you yes hey Paul metal Are you winning or are you losing? <laughs> Maybe he just has it on signing because he's at a football game right now. Yes, octopus hooks. Again, that's a tongue twist for me. Yeah, one of them has uh, octopus hooks. Um, it's the red gamagatsu. I don't know which one it is. It's the one that just caught the fish. I think so. Uh, I'm away. Home listening. Okay. Yeah. Just listen. No, no texting. It's okay, cat man. It happens. Creole. This champions palmetto. Yeah, palmetto's awesome. <clears throat> Congrats. How's it going, guys? Just one. We just caught one about I don't know 20 minutes ago on Eohead. Oh, the carp are getting excited. The carp are getting excited. They're here. They're here. Hello. How are you, neighbor? I'm doing good. And yourself? What kind of advanced fishing is this? <laughs> it's just it's just black lights and painted rods, fluorescent paint. Yeah. Going for catfish and carp today. So they're not like lighted from the side. They're just fluorescent. It's just fluorescent. Yes, paint, and then the black light gives it that effect. So for the purpose of you not losing it. No, it's just um, just so we can have a good time on YouTube, so they can see what we're, what I'm what I'm watching, so they can see the takedowns. Yeah, yeah, we're on YouTube live right now. Is it computer? On YouTube, YouTube. So you're with a computer. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. We're live on the stream right now. We have um, 168 people watching. Can I observe? Yeah, you can hang back. <laughs> There's an old man on a bike, kind of amazed what he's seen. <clears throat> I thought it was it was uh, Catterman coming up to me. I couldn't see because it's dark. What I'm seeing is it's dark here. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for the memberships and the and the super chats. No red comics like that. <laughs> oh, I blame him. <sighs> oh, he didn't fall. No, he's to the other side. No, he's. Come on, guys. Thank you. Okay, take care. Set it leaf. Be careful. Uh, let's see here. Get your these are ready. <clears throat> oh boy, this hey uh, Danny Dillard, what's going on, buddy? What did you miss? Um, one small cat. One small cat. Five pounds. <sighs> yeah, Danny's awesome. To the party that's right Woo! we just need to rust to go like this 
like that just wiggle wiggle what's going on Danny yeah Danny's Ricky's creations yes there it is now I know the name <clears throat> see a DMV oh DMV going to sleep yeah he's with his daughter this yes <clears throat> blinking rods Eight palmet while you're driving. Don't answer me when you get to a, when you get home. What what was the Jello that did that did best? I have a strawberry Jello chicken, and I also brought lime uh, Jello chicken. I think you said lime did better, but don't answer right now. Just I have it with me, so I'll, I might try some of that later on. We didn't do too bad on strawberry Jello chicken last week. We caught three small ones. Uh, later DMV. Yeah, good night DMV. Strawberry. Strawberry is my favorite. Yep. Lemon. So you're answering the question for me. Lemon. I have lemon chicken. Uh, good night DMV. Yes, he's with his daughter. So nothing better than spending time with his daughter. DMV is awesome. He's working on a, on a wagon. Putting some awesome lights on it. Uh, Rex. Blocker. Rex is awesome. Yes, strawberry, blueberry, and lime. Lime did the same orange when you call one. <clears throat> Princess, hello. Sweetness. You're saying Guggen line, they're selling fishing line now? What are 20 bucks for a small one of mono? I, I, I don't know much about Guggen. I think you're talking about like the Guggen squad, I think, if that's if I'm reading that properly. <clears throat> they're more like bass fishermen, so I, I don't buy any of their stuff. Uh, Guggen is good stuff. Oh boy, Creo, here's for being awesome. <clears throat> Creo, you're 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 the awesome one. Thank you so much for that. Man, y'all are just crazy awesome. Man, we're up to forty dollars on super chats. Boom! Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Let's go, let's go catfish. <clears throat> thank you guys. Appreciate that. Thank you, thank you very much. Amazing. Amazing trout season yeah thanks guys thank you thank you very much so I sold I'm gonna repeat myself I said this earlier in the title baits and I sold three of my whisker seekers um, that are just wrapped with high reflective tape and I'm gonna buy three more whisker seekers but not I sold three of my um, spinning I'm gonna buy casting rods now uh, not sure if I'm gonna paint it like this one or like this and I kind of like this and now that I added that more reflective tape to it plus the castings have more eyes anyways too but they're out of stock here's a good question on is it your rail, your real seat? Yeah, real seat. Do you like when it's got that metal, the metal real seats? It's got that really big, thick metal washer, stuff like that. Me personally, I think I'm gonna buy the one that doesn't have all that metal rail seats. It's lighter. I don't think I need all that extra stuff. If you have a preference or not, you should do a special edition rod. Man, another crazy awesome. Uh, Catch a big one, fish. Uh, thank you very much. I hope so too. Thank you for saying that. Thank you so much. Man, y'all are just y'all just support the channel so much. I love y'all. Chucky, have you ever tried Wheaties and Diet Pepsi for carp bait? I have not. <clears throat> so, do y'all like the combination of catfish and carp? 
This is just me. Honestly, I prefer just the catfish. I would rather have four rods fishing for catfish. No, you don't. <laughs> uh, carp or <laughs> If I catch a, a, a five pound, I will cut them up or less. Just cats, yeah. Uh, how's it going, Chunky? Well, we're having a good time. Catfish for the, yeah, vid, yeah. I'm a cat. Yeah, I, I just want to try it. My very, very good friend, um, Michael Murillo, and there was others that requested to try it for carp. And we're, we're trying it. This is, I said I would do two streams and we're trying it. Um, Ooh, yes. Here, kitty, kitty, let's do it. Did you, uh, did I miss any bites? Um, we've only landed one catfish, and I don't think we have any hits. Uh, number two rod. Yeah, so the, these two rods, number one and two, are going for carp. The other ones are going for catfish. I mean, we could, we can't catch literally catfish on corn. So I mean, I am topping it up with corn. Uh, me, let me see here. Metal rail seats are the best. So you do like metal rail seats. Interesting. Uh, agree. Agree on what? The metal rail seats or just catfish? Just had a bite on number two. Really? Let's go. Let's go. Oh, man. That moon looks so, so beautiful up there. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate those who who do super chats and that are memberships it really helps out the channel really does big slime um had a bump come back jack come back could you customize my rod oh <laughs> uh i don't think you'd be willing to pay how much work goes into these rods it's a lot of work <clears throat> Not only that, the high reflective tape is pretty expensive too. I mean, you can do several rods. You could probably do four rods, but you have to have, you have, to have different colors. Like the, I have the yellow. Um, I don't have orange on any of these. So I have the yellow high reflective tape and then I have the silver. The silver is in between each eye, eyelid. All those have silver. I mean, anything and everything is possible. Whiskers have full metal jackets are the best. Oh, let me tell you one thing. I love whisker Seeker. Everyone knows that, okay? And I only talk about whiskers because that's the only rods I, I've ever really used besides, um, you know, a few others. But their rail seeds. Oh, oh eel hit, eel hit. Go, 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 go. You can do it. Oh, that's a baby fish. Come on. Come on. Put your back into it. You have a bite yeah i know but you gotta do more than that to get me off this chair my bones hurt today <laughs> come on it's got to come down to about right here touch this 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 right there tiny gar no i don't think he's gar 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 pull let go that's a small catfish touch my finger yeah touch my finger touch that eyelid right there i gotta watch make sure he's not gonna cross my lines he might be swimming to the right we have slack line let, let me go check on him Ah. Oh. Drop it. Uh, do I have lines crossed? This one, this, this one just tapped, unless I have lines crossed. I have this whole river and I'm crossing lines. I tell you, I'm a genius.
imagine if we had a small school of catfish because this one this one tapped just a little bit just a hair We're trying, we're trying. Ah, oh, wow, the wagon is. Yeah, the wagon is, is spiked down. Um, I have, you see that blinky sign right there? It has a rebar, and that rebar is holding that, the, the handle in place. So that wagon isn't going anywhere. Not even a 100 pound fish will move the wagon. Might break a rod might break my rod holders because my rod holders are only on there um my rod holders are not screwed into that board they're they're attached with jb weld i set it that pvc really really well and um but they've held up really really well so far no problems sorry for bouncing you around you use striper fish there's striper in here we're using eel so but no i do not specifically striper fish tiger or musky thank you so much for coming in it's good to see you i see you every now and then someone else's string good what if the fish took the rod that's what i'm saying he could take the rod the fish could take the rod if he if he because jb whale guys it's it's a very very hard but if you if you hit it hard enough it, it'll, it'll crack um i i haven't had Trust me, I put a lot of, a lot of JB Weld. A lot. But it could. It could. It would break my heart. I'll go in there. I'll swap. <laughs> Gee, dive in after my rod. <clears throat> oh, snap. DMV's back. He could stay away. It's hard to stay away. It's hard. Even when he's live and I'm like dozing out, I'm like, restroom break? Oh, I got to check in. Has he caught anything? <clears throat> Yeah, if you just saw my sign, Ricky Creations, send me that sign right there. Check out that sign. Beautiful word. Look at that. Unbelievable. Un unbelievable. Look at all my black lights. I have a black light. Let me see. Can y'all see this one right there? Right bes beside me. Sorry, guys, for bouncing you around. Yes, yeah, I do the same thing with Mason. Same thing. Ooh. Yes. Love that sign. Yes, yes, yes. It really does. Oh, hey guys, how's it going tonight? We're having a good time. We've uh, we had a small little hit a little while ago. And we landed a small fish, five pounds, four pounds, whatever. But we didn't get skunked. I'm watching you and DM me one more. Listen, yeah. I will watch anyone in, in, in live stream as long as I can see the rods and the takedowns. That, that to me is important. Uh, Chesapeake, Chesapeake, he might be here. He might be hanging out back, but Chesapeake, I uh, forget the whole name. Um, he puts three rods, he made a wagon, and and he has really nice lights, and you can see his takedowns. Very, very nice. I like it. Just my opinion, it's better if you can catch the takedowns from the side like this. Actually, take down like that. And it's already 10 o'clock. Come on. Uh, bag of popcorn to watch it. Yes. Woo. The problem with popcorn, man. Popcorn only lasts 10 minutes and what? That's it. What are you using for bait? Um, okay, so rod number one and two are going for carp. We're going, we have a pack bait and I, I might need to put repack it out there. Um, and sweet corn. 
sweet corn on the hook and then I, I have a hair rig with plastic corn in case a small fish pecks the sweet corn off of it um and then the other one star oh it's time to start it's time to uh change strawberry chicken strawberry chicken and then the one that caught the fish is eel head it's an actual american eel small eel cut the cut the head off i played it a little bit and that caught the fish um all right guys let me let, let's take off strawberry chicken and put um lime chicken i think it is Chicken's still there. They don't want they don't want strawberry chicken today. We're gonna try a lime chicken for a little bit, and then we'll put eel on there. go lime chicken Sorry, sorry. So that lime chicken, I didn't throw it very far. Um, I keep hearing that you have to hit the ledge because I've been throwing mine way in the deep. I'm trying to hit that, that ledge, which is not very far. It gets, it gets deep pretty quick here. Uh, for Latino catfish, you like chicken. Yo, it is going to be the next fish. Nice. I'm with you, Stan. I'm with you. Not today. I, I didn't want to do any fish oil or any garlic garlic powder. I did not. Um, I tried just, to, well, I didn't give it a fair shot, but I, I have tried fish oil chicken with garlic powder, not even a nibble, not even a tap. So, we did we did all right catching uh, three catfish on strawberry chicken. They were all small, three, four, five pounds on my last live stream. Let's try this uh, lime, I think, I think it's lime, lime jello. Uh, it's a good price. Ever try uh, fish bites? Catfish. Um, I have not tried whatever that is. Bites. Catfish in strips. I have not. No. Um, let me see here. What are you using for? For carp chunky. All right, let me just bring it over here since. Ah. Oh. All right. 
So here's the pack bait. In here, in, in the pack bait that goes on the metal lead, that, which is right beside those that don't know what carp, you're trying to chum right where you put your bait out there. It's, I have a sweet corn, I have sweet corn, and I have cured corn. You can say, what is cured corn? Well, if you know Luke from Catfish and Carp, it's a little bottle, it's a red powder that you add to your, your corn and it gets hard, a little harder, it turns red too. So I put a little bit of cure, cure corn and sweet corn. Um, it's just regular sweet corn, okay? You don't have to, you have to see corn, but. Um, and then I also have a hair rig with the plastic corn. In case a little fish knocks off the sweet corn, I still have my plastic. Okay, plastic work, works well. And I add this, what is it? I think it's called cordigoo, this goo. This stuff is, it turns bright neon green when you, it hits the water. It's got a flavor. What is it? Pineapple? Yeah, pineapple. I used to do really well catching carp when I used to catch, you know. Well, I used to catch fish. We haven't this last year, but. Um, that's what we're doing. I brought all of my guns out. I don't have anything more than this. And I'm not gonna order from Big Carp Tackle if I'm not gonna do it. Uh, it's called Corda. Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna try to pronounce it, Danny. It's good stuff. Works perfect. You know, there's nothing more I can do. Oh, there goes my chum. Pack bait. Cordigo, right? That's what it is. It's Cordigo. Works for me. Yeah, it's good stuff. Uh, no night crawlers. Oh, man, I should run night crawlers. No. <laughs> I've seen some people come out with no pack bait, just a, a can of, of sweet corn, and tear it up with carp. Tear it, tear it up. Pineapple is. Woo! Uh, So I don't know, what you want me to do? You want me to bring it back in, repack? Good, I guess. The last time it was out there for a long time and all of a sudden that carp just picked it up. And then of course, here's my, my sweet corn and then they're red because I brought, they're, they're cured. Those, you add a red, it's called a, yeah, cured corn. It turns it red and it makes it hard harder the bait fish don't like to bother so much um, bring it in repack I guess I could throw shit I, yeah because there's a flat here those carps come on that flat I don't think I don't know if the carp yes okay I could do that let's go let's go chopper bite baby let's go uh, where are you at tonight well my first live stream, we were actually in Washington, D.C. in the Tidal Basin. We had the, the beautiful monument in the background and the Jefferson Memorial, both of them. I was trying to show them off as much as possible. Um, there was literally tens of thousands of bait fish in there. I mean, I, I just showed the camera in the water and it was just swimming there. It was just, just, it didn't feel right. So most people said, pack it up and move. So we came back to my old spot where I've been at, over at Peters Point. It's slow everywhere. I, I, I was over there for about an hour. Nothing here, it's only landed one so far. All right, guys, let me change carp real quick. Give me a second. Uh.
All right, let's catch a carp. Whew, that would be a challenge. A 10 pound carp on two pound test line. Whew, you would be the champ if you could do that. I didn't catch anything today earlier. I was at, I don't know where that river's at. Is that around here? Is that near here? <clears throat> Let me see here. My God, my church, you know. Nice. Catfish. Man, my bones hurt today. I don't know why. I didn't take any any ibuprofen. That's why. Ibuprofen puts me to sleep. I didn't want to fall asleep. They're pretty heavy, uh, methylates. I, I don't know, but they're bigger than, than I, I would rather use. But I plan not to use them any time in the future again, I don't think. Carp always. Fun catches. Yes, they are. They're very fun catches. Maybe we can do a carp in the daytime, but just most people want to see catfish. That's where those two big rods for catfish. So once again, anyone who wants wants to know, rod one or two are going for carp. They're B and M, eight foot rods, B and M uh, silver cat rods. Got them from Walmart. They are very very affordable. Like I don't know, around thirty two bucks. Free shipping. Uh, and then the other two, these are spinning, and the other two are casting. They're uh, nine and a half foot whisker seeker. Has to be one of my my. And that's funny because for many many years. I've always liked the seven foot rods. Always, always. I was like, no, I don't want to even, I didn't want to even go up to seven and a half foot. Um, and that's funny how now I like these nine and a half foot rods. Now it's a, it's a tricky rod to get used to because the handle, it, it's kind of short. Not that I know much, that, that I know much about casting rods, but now I got used to it. I, you expect it more like a surf rod to be able to cast from down here, further apart, get that leverage. It's, it's closer together. I guess the handle's closer together, but you know what? I got used to it. I like it. I love it. Customize the rods. Um, a little bit. I had some some videos talking about it, me doing it, and the process. I can tell you if you. <laughs> this is why I don't like to do videos because I have a hard time explaining myself. <laughs> I just kind of go with the flow here. Step one is clean the rod. Clean it. Um, if you want to lightly sand it with like 320, you could do that. I normally don't. Uh, oh, oh, the carp are going crazy. Carp time, baby. Let's go. They're, they're starting to jump now. Um, and then you prime them. The primer I've been losing, using lately, it's a Zinzer 123. They come in sprays. Um, you can use that or you can use the Kiehl's oil base. If you use the oil base, just light coats, two light coats, and let it dry properly. If you can let it dry overnight, because oil base dries slower, slower dry time. Um, I, I'm using the, the, the water base. Um, you can start top coating it um, within a couple hours. So here's the, the process that you want to do um, is, is figure out what, what, what you want to paint. Do you want to, if you want to go with the orange, because you want to paint this section first. Because it's easier to mask off this way here, here, instead of masking off the yellow. Because then you're dealing with the eyes. So you want to paint the orange section. So in other words, when you do the orange, the whole rod's going to look orange. And then you give it between five to 10 to 15 coats, whatever it takes. I give it a lot of coats because I run those black lights beaming on it the whole time. Um, so I spray at least 10 coats of fluorescent paint. I don't think you need that many, but at least five. Uh, and then I give it one clear coat of an oil base, clear coat. Let that clear coat dry at least overnight before you come back with um, delicate tape. Either use the blue tape or frog, frog tape. You can buy those at Sherman Williams, Home Depot, Lowe's. Use delicate surface. Um, if you can let that clear coat dry, so you got the primate, fluorescent paint, and then clear coat, let that clear coat. If you can dry, let it dry for two, two days, even better. Then you mask this off, then you start painting the yellow. Well, you gotta prime it again, because you yellow will not cover orange. Sorry. <clears throat> Just joined it, uh, you buy them. Oh, I paint these, I do all this myself. Every single rod I've ever 
purchase is the whisker seeker twin uh, any good when you used it um let me just say i i, I love whisker seeker uh, the 38 inch eh, it's all right Yeah, I customize these rods. All these rods are, are painted and they're wrapped with high reflective tape. Uh, is moving. Mm, it's short. I haven't. I threw them short. So they look a little funny, but thank you for letting me know. DC Metro Angler. Thank you so much for coming in, buddy. Uh, what brand? Clear coat. Oh, that's a good question. Whatever Home Depot has. Um, you definitely want to use the oil base clear. because the water base it's 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 not made for outdoors so and then after after you clear coat it, you tape it off then you start to prime a clear a white white primer rust-oleum it might be rust-oleum spray can yeah everything spray cans everything is spray cans um if i start painting rods for people i'm going to start using um because i have hbo hvop guns um i'm going to buy this the primer it's usually sold at Benjamin Moore. It's called Sticks. This got a whole another brand. Um, sticks on anything and everything. Oh, that was like 25 years ago. Duck City. <clears throat> okay, so once once you finish the orange and you mask, you let the clear coat dry. Then you mask it off. You mask off the orange. Th then you're just gonna be left with the eyes. You give it um, a coat of white primer. Then you start giving it the, the yellow fluorescent paint. After you've finished the fluorescent paint, whatever you give it, 5, 10, 15 coats, take off the tape, then you're gonna clear the whole rod. Clear it. If you wanna give it two, three coats, um, some of these rods have runs, believe it or not. They do have runs, but I prefer to have a thick coat of clear coat. I'm not sure why this orange, well, I was live on someone's, I was on live on Norm's show. And my, I had a, they, I, I had just finished painting the day before. I had them standing up, and I had my fan on, and they, boom, fell over, broke my heart. It took some of the paint off, but I'm not gonna touch it up. Uh, outdoor addiction, my man. Damn. What is up with the catfish? What's up with the carp? Much less my head joints You did have success. Good for you. I've always heard they're 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 well stacked over there. Can can you fish there all night long or do they, do they close the gates? As you're going in, there's a sign there that says park closes at dark. I wonder if you can fish there at night. I think that would be an awesome place to fish underneath the bridge. I mean dealing with the traffic would be horrible. I mean the sound of the traffic. Uh, have you been fishing Tim? Hi, Elston. Where do you end up going? Hi, y'all. Um, back to Peters Point. I'm at Peters Point, Washington, D.C., uh, Potomac River, Peters Point. They close at 10, yeah. That's Yes, waiting to see his cart. Oh, 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 carp, carp, carp. That's a carp, that's a carp. Here we go, run, 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 run. Woo! We're on, we're on, we're on, we're on, we're on, we're on, we're on. We're on, we're on. Trying to figure out the lines. Carp, 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 baby, carp. Yay, it's about time. We're on, we're on, we're on. Let's go. Get over here. He's a fighter. He's a fighter. He's a fighter. Woo! That was a beautiful takedown. Yes. Yes. He's going to be big. He's going to be very big. Couple of clicks. Couple of clicks. Oh, 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 oh. Get over here. He's over. He's over. Oh, 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 I'm afraid. 
This has to be a massive car. Has to be a massive car. Woo! Yes, yes. Get over here, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. He is all the way to the left. He's gonna hit the wall. The last time the big carp hit the wall on this side. Get over here, big dummy. Come on, come on. Oh, that was fun. That was fun. This has luck line. Tighten up, tighten up. Oh, I'm so glad that someone said re rig, re rig, re bait. He's a beast. He is a beast. Sorry guys, I'll get you over here. I'll get you over here. Woo! Alright. Come on, come on. Here we go, here we go. It is a huge fish. Exactly. I think he's over. I think I'm going to weigh him one more time. 20 pounds exactly. This one definitely looks bigger than the last time. It's over a good check. I knew it. I knew he was over. Yeah. Alright, so first, first read I said 20. This was almost 23 pounds. Woo! What a fish! What a fish! Pound beautiful carp, coming carp. Woo! We did it. We did it. Man, we caught one last week. That was Monday. 
Now it's Friday. Look at that. Beautiful fight. This one fought awesome. Yes. Nice, nice, nice. All right, let me put this back. I'm gonna do the release. Guys, let me know, was he in camera? Was he in the camera shot? Before I put him, you the man, let me know if he was in the camera shot. Because I was using the other camera that I can't see. Uh, way than that. Yeah, then wait, we waited the second time. It was less. It's three points something. Um, yes, you saw it. Good. Get good camera shot. All right. Let's do the release. Release. Release time. Here we go. Oh, That was amazing. That was amazing. Oh. Oh. Then I was just saying, I don't want to carfish no more. <laughs> After having a fight like that. <laughs> Woo. Oh. They're fun. Well done. Oh. That was a good, it was a good fight. I, I have to agree. That, that one fought very, very, very nice. Very nice. Woo. Yeah, it had to be close to 20 pounds. We tried to weigh the, the net earlier. Uh, the first time we weighed it, it said four something, and now the second time it said three something. Yeah, fight all the way. Yeah, carp rosin. Not for baby, let him. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, I, I would never just, when I, when I say destroy means kill, cut up, bait, no, I'm not gonna do that. A small one, I might consider it, but not if I'm gonna get to be here another 20, 30 minutes. Oh, thank you so much. Boom, appreciate that. All right guys, I'm gonna be here another 20 minutes, 25 more minutes. Let's uh, get, get another rig out there real quick. That was awesome, that was awesome. Let me just show it off. Um, the carp are jumping, the carp are jumping. They are jumping. Uh, and I caught myself, I caught a carp and I caught myself. Thank you very much for that super chat. Here's that method, method lead. I'm doing my pack bait there. Where's that other piece, that plastic piece that goes on here? I don't know why they do it like that, where it comes off. Um, pack bait goes here. And then here's that plastic corn on the hair rig. And then I, I top it off with a little bit of sweet corn, that cured corn on the hook. I put two, two about two pieces on there. And I'm not casting very far out there. Um, that's what I did. I'm glad that uh, Ricky and some other people said, bring it back in and recast it out there. Oh, so today we're one and one, one catfish, one carp. The bigger one's the carp. That was awesome. I know a lot of people don't like to see carp, but then if, if, if you've never fished one, you gotta catch one, just at least once. They're fun. All right, let's get it back out there. Hello. How you doing? That's yeah, going awesome. Catch anything good so far? Uh, I just landed a 20-pound carp. There you go. And then a five-pound catfish. 
earlier. How many viewers you got going on right now? Right now, 230. Right. Yeah, yeah. We have 900, almost 900, but three months ago. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's it gets crazy. awesome. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it gets awesome. All right, guys. So here's the pack bait. Pack bait. There's that cure corn on, on the hook. I'm already hooking myself. Let me put some of that accorded uh, goo on there. I will put the cord goo on the pack bait. Some on there. And oh boy, I'm gonna make a mess out of myself here. Okay, take care guys. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Here we go, let's get it out there. Guys, I'm literally throwing it out maybe 25 feet from the bank. 25, 30, 30 feet from the bank. Very close. Woo, I'm happy. I'm happy. That was fun. That was fun. Oh man, <laughs> oh, I'm happy. I know it's not a catfish, but you know what? They're a lot of fun. Whew. Awesome, yes, way to go. Thank you. Guys, someone do me a favor, Re real-time catfishing, please someone p find his link. Him and his wife are absolutely amazing people. He, he's a, uh, oh, oh, eel head just had a hit, eel head. Chuka, 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 chuka. Come on, come on, come on. Show me your shoulders. Put your head into it. Um, he, he, he gives me my thumbnails. He's an amazing, amazing, amazing uh, graphics. Um, he, knows, he knows how to do all that stuff, computer work. Amazing person, amazing person. Um, check out one of his videos, him and his wife speaking. It's, it, it's uh, just what they're going through right now. It's, it's, uh, it's mind blowing. Oh, you hit. Let's go. Let's go. Put you back into it. Put you back into it. Thank you. Thank you, Mo, for doing that. I appreciate that. Please um, support him. He, he's an amazing person. Um, yeah, touch my finger, baby. Let's go. Him and his wife are awesome. I just want to say thank you for all the love and support that you do and continues to give me these uh, amazing thumbnails when um, they're going through something in life and it's very, very difficult and I'm just blown away he can continue doing it. Guys, I have a spider on my phone. <laughs> I have a spider on my phone. Woo! Thank you for, for stopping by saying that. Uh, I didn't even read the comment. I just got excited when I saw you come in. Uh, awesome car. Way to go. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bam. Thank you. Woo! Yes. It's going to pick up. It's going to pick up. Oh, spider. <laughs> Ooh, there was a spider, a white spider, right there. And he's, he's somewhere behind my my camera. Where, where'd you go? Uh, finally home. Glad you made it home. You must be, you must work far from home. You must probably stop by to pick up some munchies, maybe. Uh, is there a pole limit? Um, not that I know of. Not that I'm aware of. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <clears throat> I, that's that's a question you shouldn't be asking me. Just messing with you. <laughs> yeah, if you don't know, you know, you just you're not breaking the law, right? <clears throat> so I don't know. <clears throat> boy, wait, 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 wait. Spider can't Drops a super chat. Yeah, where are you, Spider Man? <laughs> Woo! Oh, I tell you, things like that just get me excited. Car, takedowns, anything. Let's go. I think only the boats. <clears throat> and to answer the question, yes, there is a rod limit. I was just being silly. 
Wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> yeah, I don't, I don't, you can't even buy an extra stamp here. I would if I could, but I don't think that's even allowed, so. Oh, that was awesome. I appreciate 228, 25 wonderful people that are here for the show. Well, for the takedowns. Stamps. Stamps is like, if there's a limit, you can you can buy to have one extra rod. I think that's what they're talking about. To fish with one additional rod. Yeah, 15 bucks for an extra rod in Kelly. I would do it. Yeah, the police have showed up and talked to me and say hi. You're exactly right, Tim Molino. The police, the park police have showed up and say hi to me. They're like, man, you have an awesome setup. Coast Guard to me brought their boat and parked right beside me. They're like, golly, both of them said they couldn't believe my setup. They didn't say anything. I don't think we can add. No, we, we cannot add to the raw limit here in DC. Illinois is too raw. Oof. So glad I got here just in time for that. Yeah, that was a good takedown. I let, I let it go down. Man, it was a good takedown. Those B&M rods are very, very light and they perform really nice. Oh, 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 I saw something. Who saw, who saw, I saw something. I didn't see the rod tip go down. I saw the rod jiggle here. Uh, two rod. Yes, we have a lot of wonderful people. You know, I'm really glad the, the trolls haven't showed up tonight. What rods are those? Um, Rod one and two, of course, everything's customized by me, so they don't look like this when you buy them. Um, rod one and two are B and M Silver Cat eight foot rods. You can get them at Walmart's um, website. Very affordable, very cheap, like around thirty two, thirty four dollars free shipping. The other two are, are um, Whisker Seeker nine and a half foot casting rods. Love those rods. Love them. These are my second time bringing these out. And I like them so far. <clears throat> to the stream earlier oh um we killed it we um it was too many bait fish there it just i mean i i i showed the camera and there was literally tens of thousands of shad swimming by i was like you know what i don't think if there's fish here they're, they're either full or they're not gonna find my bait you said you had an iphone right yes i have an iphone yeah it's the, the 12 no no i'm sorry <laughs> i just lied there not the latest one that just came out, the 11. I don't know what phone I have. 11, whatever. Yes, an iPhone. Uh, Alex, Alex. 11, thank you, Outdoor. <laughs> <clears throat> don't keep saying hi, they're gonna, they're gonna time you out. <clears throat> just talking about that. <laughs> Woo. Years ago. Yeah, I didn't see anything in the 12 that the 11 doesn't have, I don't think. I, I, nothing that will make me spend $1,500. Uh, I stepped out. Did, uh, did you catch a carp? Yes. Nice one. 20-pound 20, 20 carp. Beautiful big carp. All its scales on there. Uh, when you get the small package, uh, video call me before you open it. All right. Sounds good. Thank you, Ricky. Guys, Ricky, once again, let me just show this. Those who... Ricky, he just sent that message right there. He's the one who sent me this. Check this out. Check out this absolutely beautiful sign, this glass sign that's got LEDs and it changes colors. It has a remote and you can make it flash faster, slower, change the color, lock it in place. Um, that's why now people, besides the rods would stop people. Now this, this sign, now they know exactly who's here, live show. So you customize your own absolutely 100%. Check this out, if you haven't seen, when I put this light on, look at the high reflective tape. Boom. Now you see where it's shining right back to the camera? That's what all areas that it has high reflective tape. I'll get closer to the... Yeah, Ricky's awesome. He's going to send me something else. Can you imagine that? <laughs> Woo! Ricky, you're just too much. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate you supporting Chunky Cats Fishing. So, let me explain something to this. Boom, let me turn this off. Okay. So, this is paint. Paint, paint. 
Is this paint? Now, I added this high reflected fluorescent lime yellow to match this. So you really don't see it too much. But when I hit, well, I won't do it right now. But that's, I also added silver here. Silver reflects, it's got the highest reflectability. It's really hard to wrap it in here. And then right where the tape seam is at, let me get closer to this here. Uh, I guess you can't see it. You, you can see the tape seam right here. I add UV glue and then the, the kit comes with the glue and it also comes with a little black flashlight. You put the glue there real fast and you, you hit it with the black light and it gets hard. Because if you don't put glue on the seam, the tape will come up. It will, it will come up. Uh, let me see if I can turn on the light. You see how that high reflective tape kind of bounces back? Uh, this is not, yeah, I guess it is kind of an area. So once again, this is paint, this is paint, this is tape. This is paint, tape. But you do the tape after, after you're done. Anyways, it's a lot of work, but I think it's worth it. I think it defines these takedowns. Everyone's in, in here for the takedowns. Okay, glue the tape down, yes. Yeah, yeah, so what I, what I also been doing, you can't hear, but on top where the rod's really thin, after I put the tape down, tape, tape down, I put blue tape, that, that delicate blue tape. You put tape over the seam, let, let that tape sit on there overnight. Then when you take the tape off, that seam won't come up on you really fast because it will come up to you, it won't give you time, it won't give you time to put t um, the glue and then hit it with the black light for it to set. Um, especially up on top where it gets really thin up there. I've been doing that now. I've been putting blue tape over that, that tape so it sits there in place and I'll, I'll glue it down the following day. Now the silver tape is very thin. It's very, very sticky. Um, but I still, let me see, I, it's really hard because that, that UV glue is like trans, trans, oh my God, the spider's right. Where are they? Where did he go? He fell down somewhere. All right, back to the show. The light got me up. Love this light, man. Thanks, Ricky, appreciate that. Let's see. Yes, hot cocoa machine for me, bring it. I got the power source. So anyway, let's go over the power source. In case we got some new people here. These are all the black lights. I run one, two, I run three of these here. I have a black light right beside me here. Um, even the strip that goes around the board that holds my rod holders. Oh, the spider's still here. Hold on, hold on. Gone, hit him. Let's go fishy, fishy, fishy. No takedowns yet. What was I saying? I already forgot. Oh, my battery source is in here. Deep cycle battery and then my inverter. This, this thing doesn't let when I turn the camera upside down. Uh, oh, that hurts. Oh, I'm sorry, did I, did I smack the phone? My bad. Look at that, look at all these cables and wires. You think that's up to code? Woo, don't have OSHA come get me. That's right, they'll probably end up fishing with me anyways. Oh. What time is it? Man, it's here. Yeah, I'm gonna pack it up. Pack it up. Nature is scary sometimes. I agree with Ricky, use it as bait. The spider? <laughs> Woo! All right, so my phone is inside a ring light, okay? I use a ring light and I can turn it up and down. Let me see if I can turn it up. Turn it really, really bright and it gets crazy bright, which is not what I want. So I have the ring light on low and then I add this little clip, this clip. I'm trying to get it near the camera source so you can see, you can see that tape. Sometimes it helps out a little bit, but anyways. So I'm telling you, I spend a lot of time trying to figure out what's gonna give you the best look, best angles, best for fin. <sighs> you could make a lot of money selling those rods. <laughs> <clears throat> How much would you pay for a rod like that? That's, that's the question. <clears throat> 
just to get it customized not not the rod the rod because the rod you can vary two hundred dollars for the customization just a paint job maybe <laughs> uh the clip light kind of kind of cool yeah, yeah i just added for a little bit more because instead of turning on the whole ring light two hundred dollars just for the for the fluorescent or you're saying fluorescent and tape no i wouldn't do it uh, tape's expensive. Look it up on Amazon. Uh, before you know, you'll have your own camera. Yeah, yeah, here, please. Cool. Um, me love lights and knives. Knives. Um, mega cart. How's the bite? Um, one small catfish around five pounds and then a 20 pound carp. Um, oh boy, the carp are here. He's right next to my pack bait. We're gonna get another one. Better strap in, buddy. <clears throat> you know what, let me check them. Well, I'm gonna pack it up already, man. Three, four. Two. Oh, you're doing a countdown. One. Blast off. What? Guys, let me check um, EO head real quick because they had a hit. We might have a small little cat laying on there. Um, plane bite. Are you close? What? Are you closing the stream or not? No, I'm not. Not yet. Um, but I will soon. I'm not going to be out here. Just. I like fishing. You like fishing both? Both catfish and carp. Is that what your the question is? Uh, man, you know what that? Oh man, hold on. Hold on. Stop talking. Up. No chicken on here. No chicken. I don't know if it just came off right now, but you know what? I'm gonna put eel. I know eel will not come off just for another 10 minutes, and that's it. Piece of eel. Man, I should have changed this a long time ago. Oh, I had another eel hit. Oh man, what am I doing wasting time here? I hadn't I had brought two eel today. Baby eel hit. Let's get it out there. Ten more minutes. We'll be picking 40.
That's it. That's it. It's coming to an end. All right, dude. Let me see here. You gotta have the UV light to me. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So these rods don't look like that. In the daytime, they look alright. If it's a nice, bright, sunny day, you know, they stand out a little bit. But no, the black lights what makes them look like this. I have black lights everywhere. As a matter of fact, right beside me, where is it? Right here. Black light right beside me. I'm always trying to find that. Since the camera's here, I want this shot to look strong. Yeah, if you're asking the question, black lights. Black lights there. Oh, oh, oh carp. The carpet right underneath me. Oh, we're going to get another carp right before we wrap up. <clears throat> Live. Yeah, those who are just tuning in, we've... He catches snakehead. Bring it. Lots of snakeheads out here. Uh, da, 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 what was I going to say? I forgot. Put some pack bait on the EO head. <laughs> you know what? Let me throw all my, my, my bait out there. Just a waste. I I brought a lot of chicken out today. I'm not gonna re-refreeze it. Look, look, look at all this jello strawberry chicken. Lime chicken. Woo. Throw in the water. Fishing has been tough. I mean, at least we're not getting skunk, but still, it's not like the good old days. Lots of folks doing that. Uh, Chuck. Mm. No such thing as one last guess. 
<laughs> Ooh. Uh, send me the chicken. The carper jumping over there. Oh, man. Oh, guys, I really appreciate all the super chats, all the, the memberships. What do you put in your pack bait? Um, this one has a lot of stuff. This one has... Um, my main ingredient, which is kind of old already, but it's just been sitting there ready, is, is soybean meal. I go out to the to the feed store. Um, there, there's one called uh, Southern States. When I was doing all the car fishing, soybean meal would tear it up. Um, not that it's doing extremely hot, but uh, soybean meal, uh, breadcrumbs, panko, I had oak meal, uh, cream corn, sweet corn, and jello mix. Strawberry jello mix. Ten minutes. Woo! I've been famous for that. I've been famous for saying, "Oh, five more minutes, ten more minutes," and it turns into a thirty minutes, an hour, an hour fifteen. Minutes. <clears throat> yes, to me, it's soybean meal. It, it, it's the best stuff. What well, used to be, at least for me, chicken, lime burritos. Ooh. Yeah, they're out there jamming. <clears throat> uh, yeah, they got a good, good sounding setup over there. Uh, you can um, iPhone, iPhone 11 Pro Max. Uh, yes, yeah, they got woofers over there. Yeah, it's a good camera. Very good camera. I mean, usually I should clean it because the condensation gets on there. Let me just give it a quick wipe. Yeah. I think I just made things worse. Oh, I had the tape broke close to it. I'm gonna start packing it up slowly. I hear that the bass yank is coming through. I love music. Love music. Uh, spider. Or, uh, spider. Ooh, super slow. Yeah, it's been slow. I mean, a lot of people I've been watching, I watch a lot of YouTubers and they're struggling. The only people I've seen catching fish are the people fishing deep waters in the boats. And the only two people that come to mind right now, it's kayak catfishing and combat carl. I mean, they're laying in. I think those fish are still deep. Yeah, I think I noticed combat carl went live. There are three live streams going on. Um, yeah, I noticed that as soon as I left the tidal basin, uh, Combat Carl went live and then uh, um, Catamaran Adventures. Um, did he go back live again? Because he stopped by here a little while ago. Is he live again? Who else is live? Paul Metal. Catfish Dave. Yeah, I don't. I don't watch a lot of Catfish Dave. <clears throat> Skipjack. You can. Uh, catfish and crappie. What is he doing? Is he still on his on his show right now, or is he doing something else? Why don't you watch Catfish Dave? Jones? You know, I, I think I think his videos are very, very long. <clears throat> I mean, I'll be honest. Any anyone who puts a long, long video, it's very hard for me to click the view button. Not that I don't like the guy; it's just the videos are too long. That's it. <clears throat> Banjo music, okay. <clears throat> Uh, 
I think everyone's just laying back waiting for the rods to go down. Ooh, I think I'm gonna do the same. <clears throat> <clears throat> just looking, just look, everyone's just looking at the rods, waiting for the takedown. Of the rod, that's right. Look at the tips of the rods, yes. Oh, 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 carp, 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 carp. He's off, he's off. Oh, big fish, big fish, big fish, big fish. We're on, we're on, we're on, we're on. I told you we're going to get another carp. Woo! Let's land them. Let's land them. Close the show off with what the what's another fish? Oh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, 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 come on, come on, come on. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? At over and under this one. I think he's a little one. He's a little one. It's coming right in. Coming right in. Going back that way. Where? Where are we? Where? Oh! oh, oh, oh. Woo! Oh, get over here! Get over here! Woo! Man, carp are nuts. Carp are nuts. Tonight, carp wins tonight. Ah, here we go. Another nice one. Another. I don't think he's as big as the other one, but he's definitely, definitely over 10, 100 percent. All right, where's the scale? Settle down. You're just gonna hurt yourself. Settle down. To this thing. Here we go. Ah, this thing got wet. It's not working. All right. So one, one, one more, one more second, guys. Let me see if I can reset the batteries real quick. I don't know how we got water in here. Yeah, I was gonna try to weigh him up, guys, and I... It's locked in red. 
Let me take off the battery and reset it one more time. Just one more time. Hold on. Not going, not going to let me. Not going to let me. Sorry guys, I just, I was trying to do everything I could to weigh this carp up. Nope, green screen. All right, maybe 35. <laughs> He's definitely, uh, you don't know, he looks like 16, 16 ish. Let's, let's get him out. Oh, settle down. Back. All right, I got the hook out. I'll show it to y'all. Here we go, guys. Woo! Nice, nice carp. Oh man, he's got to be 14, 15 pounds. There we go. <clears throat> nice, 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 nice. Let's do the release. Let's do the release. Oh. oh. Man, you're messing with me. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I just landed another one. <sighs> These guys are freaking me out. I'm like, what? <laughs> I got the hook out. Let's put, let's put it back in place. <laughs> all right, all right, guys. Did you hear me screaming when I drove by? I heard, I hear, I hear all, all kinds of people screaming all the time. Yeah. All right, let's get the fish back in the water, guys. Just a second. Hold on. Dude, I was gonna say I would have taken him off your hands, but I know you're probably CPR, right? Oh, something that big, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Anything below five or ten pounds, that's a different story, huh? Look at that setup, dude. That is so neat. All right. Hold on. <laughs> Luke is here trying to give me a heart attack here, telling me I caused an accident. <laughs> huh? What's up, guys? Ke Kevin, tell me the YouTube channel. I, you changed it. The fishing adventures of the Catterman. There we go. Yeah. All right. And DC Metro. Devon, huh? Check it out. Uh, there he up? is, huh? <laughs> Woo! I get asked all the time is that, you know, catfish tournaments. If, you, if you're if you in the D.C. area, you want catfish tournaments, he's the man. He's the man right here. 
Whoo! There's some big fish that get weighed into oh, with yeah, those events. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. Really? <laughs> oh, yeah. And that's they all awesome. swam off too. They didn't just yep. sink, right? Yep. Like a cannon. All of them swam off. Those three. I like your mask, man. Thanks, Yeah, that customized? Vista print, yeah. Nice. You should get one too, dude. Okay. <laughs> I might even send you. I got one with a catfish on it. It's funny as hell. Nice, oh, nice, nice, nice. You nice. saw that one over here with the channel cap? <sighs> yeah, yeah, I'm going to send Elsa one. Hell yeah. Uh, all right, guys. I'm going to start packing it up. I'm going to let it go here. This is incredible, man. I remember how it was in the beginning when you did this. And now to see what it expanded into. Exactly. Should... You remember how it, yeah, where it started at? Where, where it's at now? The journey, dude. And it's because you're consistent and you stay up to date with your subscribers. I try to. I try my best. And hey, the catfish shows love you too, man. They hosted you. I watched that, uh, that live stream you did with uh, Catfish Now, was it? No, no, no. I've been on Catfish Weekly one catfish time. Weekly. Catfish Weekly. Yeah, I gave away a rod on that show, believe it or not. Really? Yeah, a blue cat rod from Chris Morris. Towards uh, the end of the show, right? Yeah, Muddy River Cat. Yeah. Yeah, Muddy River Cat, yeah. Do you like those rods? They're a very strong rod. Very strong nice rod. He's coming out with a new medium action rod. Ooh. Yeah, it's gonna be a good rod. Stainless steel guides with any like stainless steel guides, yeah, all the time. Uh, yeah. So the ones you make are medium heavy? This one's gonna be medium action. Uh -huh. Medium action, but it's more like a medium action. Yeah, the ones that he makes right now, you can bottom bounce like 28 ounces with them. Oh, yeah, they're very strong rods. Yeah. <laughs> I did that with the ripping loops in the beginning, and I hated them. Like, yeah. just like, the, it's too big and beefy. Like, it's no fun anymore. It's crazy. Yeah. So how'd you end up so making where's all your tonight? stuff at? Oh, dude, I just wanted to stop by. I didn't want to, like, set up or anything yeah. like that. Oh, well, where's your stuff at? <laughs> That's not <laughs> the question. Yeah, yeah, in the car. Where's your car at? All the way down to Kennedy Center. All over there, the park yeah. here. F Street? Okay. Where's your park at? Right here, the, the tennis course. Tennis. Sorry, guys. I'm going to start packing it up. But <laughs> the tennis courts. You can park right here. Well, about a 150 yard walk that way. You're the local. You're DC uh, Metropolitan just, Angle. You don't know about the Metropolitan Angle. Well, I mean, you have to pay. I don't know what you pay over there. Uh, I don't. I mean, I don't. You know, nothing. Right oh. now, you know, you don't even have to pay for parking. Really? You didn't know that? Yeah, they're not checking until COVID's over. Oh, I didn't know that. Could have saved yourself some money, but hey, at least you got your awesome <laughs> loyal subscribers to help you out there. You guys are awesome, by the way. And Elston's the man right here. If you're not subbed, you're you're too late, man. You got to get on it right now. You got to catch up, man. Yeah. What about the cats, though? How'd you do? One cat, one small cat, five uh, five pounds. Yeah. Two carp, two big carp. Talk about causing an accident. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, there was, there was a bad one here the other night, really bad. Oh, really? Yeah, I saw, I was fishing up a little bit in Georgetown. And, oh, dude, look at all this carp jumping. Yeah, carp, carp are jumping everywhere. Yeah, the Challenger hit a pedestrian going about 60, 70 miles an hour. And then uh, spun out of control, smashed into a bunch of other cars in the other lane. That's it was terrible. Bad. Yeah, it was bad. I didn't want to see it. I felt so terrible. I wanted to help it. There were so many people that ran over and everything. Oh, yeah. yeah. What time is it? Let me see what time it is. It's like probably almost now. Eleven thirty. I'm gonna pack it up. Yeah, uh, volleyball courts, not. Oh, I'm sorry. Huh? Did I say tennis courts? I meant the volleyball courts. Well, that's a big difference. Yeah, because if I would have found some tennis <laughs> volleyball, <laughs> 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 I mean, it's four, four hours of walking. I can't do this. Anymore. Thanks, DMV. I caught that right in time. <laughs> <laughs> The now big, they're going to say, you do lie, Elston. <laughs> <laughs> I, I paid a ticket huh? for the park. Not a lot. Oh, this is a uh, white pencil. Yeah. Oh, oh, are you serious? DC, DC has got tens of thousands right now. Tens oh, of dude, thousands. They're everywhere, yeah. But what is a white pencil is a shad. No, that's a, that's a white dude. He's chasing something. Dude. <laughs> oh, look at He's chasing a minnow. Look, look at him. So that's sick. Crazy. Look at all the they, minnows. A uh, few, but oh, no, no. D DC's got. The title basin has everywhere. Oh, yeah. yeah. Did you see, I netted it. That's why he left. Huh? I oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, you said you netted it. You blinded it. I saw, I just hit it with the light and I literally scooped him up. And yeah. there was, it was, that's what he was hunting the white perch along the wall. So they're white perch in there right now. Everywhere. So they're not, they're not shad. They're white no, perch. Everywhere. And they're all in the wall. Literally. They're right there. No, no. That's why he left. There's the, bunker in there. Bunker? Yeah. Oh, in there? Yep. He caught bunker. Yeah, really? He sent what is, what is bunker? I don't know what a bunker is. It's, it's like a uh, menhaden. Yeah, yeah. Menhaden. Okay. Do the herring, like the Ooh, fresh, yes. salt water, the salt water herring. Nice. 
Nice, yeah. nice, 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 nice. But there's salt water baked. Yeah. It's not supposed to be in fresh no, water. It doesn't make any sense. Mm. Yeah, look. Oh, I saw some bigger fish of it. Dude, is, wait, is that how deep it is? It's pretty shallow over here. Yeah, it's it, it's a flat, but it gets very, very, very deep, very quick. I would say maybe 30 yards out, which is not very far. 30 yards, it yeah. deep. It deeps. It deeps. I wonder so, why you're not getting any bites. The dude, this this weather's been so weird. That's what I keep talking about my stream. This is like prime time. We should be tearing it up. And yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 I don't have an answer to that. The water's still pretty warm, though. Oh, is it really? Well, remember, if you look at the charts from last week, it was 56, 57, yeah. and then it boom, it shot up. Now it's like 68. Wow. Yeah. They should be feeding like crazy. I'll think the cabbage will be like, mmm, better metabolism. Let's go. Sorry, guys. We're just. Oh yeah. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, I, I'm packing it up. I'm. Okay. They want to see the. They want to see the rods. Just don't get in the way of the rods. That you're fine. <laughs> oh, no, no, you're right. They'll get mad. They'll get Absolutely. Mad. <laughs> can, I, can I do this? Wait, no. That's you, my finger. <laughs> That's you. You got to do it. Woo. Oh, this is great. Watch, I want to like see a 30 pounder come out of nowhere now and just slam me. Send it down. Yeah. Dude, that's just black light and everything. I mean, it's just. Oh, yesterday. Boy. I'm running six black lights today. Six. Six? Six. There's one here, one. This is two, three, a bar down there. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Another one laying back over there. Six lights, six black lights. I'll tell you what, if we're fishing down there and we see a little mushroom shape over here, we'll know that you blew up. <laughs> <laughs> like baby <laughs> <laughs> little <laughs> <while you're, "Whoa!" laughs> Now that's a good advertising for your painting business too, these rods. Yeah, you did a real good job. I, I, I freaking, I creeped on that I remember when we were trying to get the coffee bait together, I'm like, there's got to be a way to get his phone number. I know he owns a business. I'm like, let me look. I'm like, ah, uh, don't tell me he's a painter. <laughs> and house improvement guy. I'm like, oof. Skill that you went out, and I had just put new batteries in here. What kind of scale is that? That's a cheap one. Okay. I have a whisker seeker scale. Yeah. The problem it takes a long, long time to lock in. Mm -hmm. But that one was struggling, so I just gotta get a new scale. Yeah, I, uh, you don't get a boga maybe, because I know those are like literally uh, calibrated. What is it? Boga? Send me a message. You okay. have my number. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Send me a link. Not right now. It's no, no. still on the stream. Yeah, no, <laughs> I, I called you earlier. As soon as I saw you packing the stream, I was like, I gotta snipe the stream. I'm like, yo! I couldn't tell it was you. I was like, oh man, I'm gonna have trouble here right now. And I see two guys. I can maybe handle one, but not two. <laughs> and this guy's over six feet tall. I'm like, oh, I'm in trouble. <laughs> no, don't worry. I gotta throw a meniscus. So you can just throw me in the water. I'll never get out. <laughs> oh, you, you have a torn meniscus right now? Yeah. That's... I'm on. I'm yeah. It sucks, man. It's, it, I was lifting something in the truck, and the next thing you know, it's like. What is that? So the meniscus is. There's like two. Uh, cartilage pads between your kneecap and all the joints, and one of them kept ripping. So it hurts every time you have to do that. So this cartilage is really tough to do. They, they say usually if you tear the meniscus, you'll tear your ACL. And, oh, you got a bike. Left or right? Oh, no, sorry. Which way? Like, yeah. Oh, no, yeah, right. Yeah, left rod. This one? Yeah, what is that, number four? What? Heel hit, heel hit, heel hit. How bad, how bad was it? Uh, it, was, he, uh, it was bouncing and it kind of went slack. There you go, see? He's no, that wasn't me. I just, I just oh, did a little okay. flick. Come on, dude. He, you know he wants that heel head. <laughs> so you still fishing? Oh, yeah, yeah. We're going to go in a second. I'm going to go to Georgetown over there and just see if we can throw in the deep hole. But, dude, I don't I don't even know right now. And they, they were using, they were biting all the small baits. They were, like, completely ignoring all the big pieces. Yeah, we need to figure out what they want right now because I'm struggling. Yeah. Yesterday, I was killing them on the bunker bed. Huge. Oh, really? Did you see? I was literally there like six hours before he got there, and I got <laughs> nothing within two hours. This dude shows up and just literally 32, 27, 18. What was it? Home field advantage. Yes. <laughs> Good. Okay. Man, I'm probably not going to throw you in the river tonight. You're probably going to beat me up. They have a boat with you, Nah, you can't. Listen, but once I move here, I'm I'm learning everything. I'm gonna... <laughs> so where are you at right now? Where are you living at? So I'm still in Jersey. Okay. But I'm planning on coming down here. I'm actually looking at Hyattsville tomorrow to kind of see if I like that area. Good, 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 good. Yeah, that's what I heard. Silver Spring. Yeah. Yeah, man. Like you get everything. 
few men want to bench your ass. Uh, want to bench your accessories. Yeah. See, the thing is, I want to I want to work in um, at a company close to Baltimore. Mm -hmm. So I kind of got to see like how long the commute would be. Well, for a Baltimore. Yeah. Uh, like no, 30, 45 minutes. Okay. Depends on traffic. Okay. No DMV traffic. Yeah, yeah. Right well, that, that's another thing, dude. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna like moving here with all the traffic. I hate traffic. I have a Jeep, dude. So every time I hit traffic, like my spine gets compressed. I end up being an inch shorter when I get out of that. <laughs> yeah, I think so. that's, that's, I think Silver Spring. I don't know, but I got to see how much it is because my, my boy might want to join me. Andrew yeah. Catterkeet. Yeah. Yeah, you might want to come down with me so oh, we're talking really? about yeah. it. Yeah. Hey, Andrew Catterkeet. Dude, it's because he's a freaking googan. <laughs> he is a googan. He still won't touch fish. What? Yeah. Right, come on. You got to break him in now. That's what I'm saying, dude. I'm about to get him on a kayak and just be like, if he has a fish, he will be like, help. I'm like, no, <laughs> yeah. you just got to take care of yourself. <laughs> you solo dough, yeah. That's it. How long does that usually take you to set it? Was it to wrap everything up? 10, 15 minutes. That's not bad. Yeah. <laughs> now you just need a motor on that car so it drives itself to your car. <laughs> I'm just glad I stopped carrying two batteries. Um, I think that one battery's got enough juice to run the show, you know. What is that, like a 75 AH? I don't know. It's in the description. <laughs> okay, that's <laughs> fair description. enough. Amazon, right? There you go. Okay. No, no, Michael Marillo sent it to me. Oh. One of my, one of my viewers sent it to me. Strong battery. He actually worked with it. Dude, that's so sick. You know, I, what I think is most incredible is that YouTube never used to favor live streamers until recently. And then now I also saw with how you're booming and, like, I, I really... Oh, okay. <laughs> Good. what happened? Because we got to feed wet. That's my fault. <laughs> oh, what? Corn feed? It was just water. Plain water. Okay, yeah, I do that too to wash your hands off. Yeah, exactly. Because of the pack bait. And the eel, dude. Ugh. Oh, there we go. He came back. Left Which right. Way? He's on. Oh. He's there. Yeah, come on. He's on it. He's on it. Yeah, look at him. Oh, dude, that's a nice bite, too. Nah. He's got to come down way yeah. over here. Yeah, you got to grab that. That's good. He's, he's got it, though, in this notch. Look. Oh, man. Yeah, he's still playing with it. He's still on? Oh, he's, he's oh, he's on there. Look at him. He's He's got it deep in his mouth. Yeah. Get it. Come on. Get it. Get the finger, I'll start. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. How do I do this? I don't want to mess up the stream, guys. I'm going to get out of the light. If you see me go, it goes, ah! There's a splash. Touch my finger. Go get it. <laughs> yeah. Wait, no, dude, I, COVID, I don't want to touch your stuff. You stick? No, you know what? I said zero, yo. I said zero percent. I, I want to see a real one in that. So what rods? Are these are being in filter caps from Walmart. They're really cheap. But of course, I painted them and wrapped them. These are um, Whisker Seeker, nine and a half foot. These are, I love these rods. Absolutely love them. I was them. thinking about getting these nine and a half. Which one? These here? Yeah. I, w I really like it. He's not on there. So what are those? And those are ambassadors? Um, this one's in the Bassard 5000. That's that new one, that new catfish. Oh, that stuck. I took too long. No. Oh, oh no. Oh, man. I don't know if you get smacked here. Yeah. Huh? I don't know if you get smacked here. A little bit more on that side, on that side of the tree. Yeah. As long as you're really fast and stop talking to the people that are around you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you heard that. That was some shade thrown this time. I can't even see myself with all the shade he just threw. <laughs> Oh, you still got it back. He didn't, he didn't snap it off, did he? Oh, no. He, he was on there forever. Yeah. I can catch five, six catfish. Oh, he looks so good. That's, there, there's so many right now in the Delaware River. Eel? Yeah. You guys get the big ones up there? We get the real big ones. Yeah, yeah I had one take down a white perch and literally, t like, uh, yeah, screw his head off. What? It's really, really messed up. I feel really bad so for the white So let me perch. tell you that right now, all the bait shops are having a hard time finding stuck in eel because they're yeah. all small around here. They can't yeah. get decent size. Five days. I might be able to seal some up, and I can send some your way, but I can't promise it. I gotta see like if I can get them in a decent size, and then also be able to send them. But yeah, I mean, dude, they're everywhere in the river. I just throw a worm out within five minutes. Just it's an eel on. My last, my last rod. Yeah. So what happened with the eel? Why are there no eel around here? Uh, probably more catfish. <laughs> Do you think that's it? That's bad, dude, because eel, oh man, that's weird. Really... Oh, you got some? That looks like a fish, dude, right? Oh, no. No, I don't okay. know. It does feel heavy, but I don't think it's... What is it, a blue crab? 
<laughs> oh, don't, even, don't even say crabs. There better not be crabs in here. Ah, yeah. No, there yeah. isn't. Oh, yeah. There's oh, yeah. no crabs here. What? Oh, yeah. yeah. They get pulled in with the tide, too, like they do in the devil. There's no crabs here. You, I, the only crabs that are over oh, here God, God. are on him. From the board. <laughs> 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 All right, nobody's got crabs over here. It's a, a kid-friendly show. <laughs> Everything's good. We got... Oh man, Elsa, I don't want to put you in the yellow side. You know what? I'm a little too blue collar right now. This is not going to help out. But yeah, dude. Oh, dude. But I was when I was here with a kayak last summer. I literally drifted all on that side over there. I marked so many big fish right in that hole. Yeah, it's that town, man. Yeah, that's. The, but they weren't taking the baits. I was dropping it. Literally saw it right above them, and I saw them come up, and then yeah. they went back down. The Bro, bluegill. That bridge, that's my favorite bridge right there. Really? Yeah, me and John's program went over there, man. We did that. We caught a flathead over there. Yeah, yeah, I caught a flathead on that side over there. Yeah. The bridge, yeah. The bridge is broke. Are you going to go live or not? I might, yeah. I'm thinking about it. I mean, it all depends upon if I have enough batteries for the lights. I don't know. Uh, I don't carry around a marine battery. All right, guys, like that's it. I was going to pack it up anyways, and check him out. He'll be going live tonight, right? Yes. You're going to be fishing together? Yes, we will. Yeah. Someone do me a favor, put his link up. Uh, and Devon, everyone knows Dev Devon, DC Metro. And then... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> we present, guys. We're going to have a fun show. I can't promise you it's going to be as good as this man's, but we're going to try to keep the enthusiasm. As long as you, you catch fish. If you catch fish, you'll be all right. <laughs> no, I don't even catch fish, dude. I just come here for a model. Show. <laughs> all right, guys. We tried it. Um, one catfish, two carp. We had a good time. We had a nice time. These guys scared me, telling me I. Could do it. <laughs> yeah, I, that's all I wanted. Nice, like I knew. And what I, I didn't did. know what to do. I was like frozen. I, was like, <laughs> I saw you look the, over too. This guy's over six feet tall. I was like. <laughs> yeah, I saw you come over here. You're just intimidating. Face mask too. <laughs> no, with the Ravens, the way they're playing right now, it's angry. Later on. Yeah, all right, guys. Yeah. See y'all later. Take care. See y'all until next week. Take care. Love every single one of y'all.